Now, assume you already learned how to center your clay. Uh, now I'm going to show you how I open uh, my clay and how I pull it up step by step. Okay. Uh, usually, when I'm opening, I use my thumb with both hand holes on the side of uh, uh, clay to stabilize it. Um, you can use, the, use both thumb, uh, poke it through the center, or you can use one of your thumb. I'm using the right thumb here. Okay, when you open it, make sure that your hand is holding on the side to stabilize it. Okay, and then I lift, uh, remove the uh, slip of your uh, fingers. Place it in the middle of the hole and put a little bit of water in the hole because when you are opening, you will have lots of uh, friction there. So uh, it's good to have a little bit more water in the middle of the hole. Right now, uh, you are going to use your left fingers because uh, the way the wheel is spinning, you always want to use your left uh, left hand inside. So. Uh, might as well use your left hand to open the hole. Um, when you open it, make sure to stabilize your hand too. Okay, so usually uh, I'm holding my right hand here on the side to stabilize it. And then uh, these fingers uh, try to uh, dig in through the middle, from the middle of the hole. And with uh, this thumb holding, my left thumb holding my my right hand here also to stabilize it. So go ahead and straight down up. Um, at the same time, uh, your both hand is kind of squeezing the clay wall so that uh, when you're opening the hole, you still uh, your wall is still centering. Some sometimes people uh, have a good center, but when after they open it, uh, they lose the center because you did not squeeze the clay uh, enough. You can uh, hold, uh, uh, squeeze the clay so that uh, the wall is kind of uh, one side thicker, one side thinner. So that's not good. So make sure that your both hand is squeezing the clay wall. Okay, and uh, once you reach to the bottom, I always say around a quarter of an inch, and then uh, this fingertip kind of will go uh, to your right hand. about a quarter of an inch and my left fingers inside is going uh, moving toward my uh, the center of my palm here and you can see that at the same time uh, my thumb is holding on the rim so that the rim is not getting too thin here my right, right thumb. Okay. So this is the uh, opening process. To make sure that uh, you have good standard but uh, when you open it down you want you both and want to squeeze the clay. Okay. Let me uh, cut it open to show you uh, what's the look inside before I lift it up. So the uh, inside is kind of uh, like this. You have a little indent here. Um, this is the hand that I'm holding. From here, and it gradually moved to the side of uh, the wall. Okay, so you have a little indent here. And later on, you're gonna lift, lift your clay from here and try to pull it up. Okay. That's the opening step.
Center. Like this, uh, it's holding like uh, my 
finger is holding like this. And make sure that always your thumb is always attached to the hand here, the, the four fingers here. You don't want to get it too loose. If this is loose, uh, it's not stabilized. Okay. So again, the same uh, push from inside. I'm using my right thumb to uh, to grab the clay, like just like I did the very first pull. So both hands is holding the clay and gradually. Very steady, move up the, the fingers. Uh, you can see that the cylinder is, is getting taller. And again, coat the slip over the cylinder outside. Um, coat it inside before I do another lift. A lot of people uh, have uh, left a lot of uh, clay by the corner. Uh, you don't want to leave too much clay here. So uh, in this case, uh, I'm using my right fingers, just two fingers, okay, holding on the, the very bottom and try to squeeze the clay in so that my bottom is getting narrow. Um, you want to color it up. Color it in too if you want to throw it uh, up higher. And again, <coughs> compress the rim a little bit. Cold that slip over. stopping right here and uh, I'm going to cut it open to show you how I position my fingers together okay uh, from the beginning my fingers is going like this Inside and outside, both hands grab the clay and lift it up. Okay, this is after uh, I move up my fingers. Uh, the inside finger can go a little bit faster than the outside finger, so it creates a little a notch here. Okay, and then it just keep on moving up. I'm using this plexiglass cylinder to show you how I position my fingers in both inside and outside. Okay, the uh, inside finger is this is about uh, six o'clock, six o'clock direction, and um, three o'clock. Um, I'm uh, Using my fingers inside at uh, around a five o'clock position and pull up like this, push out and then pull it up. And my outside finger is using like this. I'm using my thumb, but uh, the thumb you wanna always attach to uh, your four fingers together. It, it's like this and uh, kind of uh, upside down. Um, Using the thumb, point to the uh, inside middle fingers, and then both hands squeeze the clay, squeeze the cylinder, and lift it up. Um, the outside hand looks like this. These four fingers holds, uh, kind of stabilize the cylinder, and just use your thumb tip and the inside finger 
hold them together and move up. So this is the how I hold my fingers together. Uh, if I uh, bring it upside down, it's like this. My hand is like this. Okay, some people do use the knuckles. I can use the knuckles or sponge, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with. But my way of uh, throwing is I'm using my thumb, my right thumb here. Um, with these four fingers holding on the side of the cylinder and both hands grab the cylinder, grab the clay and um, move it up. Cylinder is getting too tall, so let me move my camera back a little bit.
I always uh, throw the cylinder, uh, try to push to the limit of the cylinder. Uh, once you find out your limit, uh, your cylinder is start to uh, wobble a little bit, like here, uh, start to uh, dance a little bit. Uh, that means the tail, the clay tell you uh, that's the limit of my ability to stand up. So uh, in this case, you don't want to keep on um, uh, pull it up because uh, eventually it, it might collapse. So uh, up to this stage, I uh, usually start to uh, to shake, to compress the wall. And uh, I usually are uh, using uh, this wooden rib to do the first compress. So the uh, inside fingers pushing out with my rib against it. Okay, one more time. Okay, let me stop right here to show you uh, what's the look both inside and outside. So when I'm compressing the fingers inside is kind of pushing out against the, the wooden rib here. Um, start from the, the, the bottom corner. I try to move my hand up to here without moving my wooden rib. Until at this point that my rib is a little bit too short, then I start to move with my fingers both together with the rib. That's how I uh, use my wooden rib to compress the, the wall.
strip off the uh, unnecessary clay of the foot. Okay. Uh, after I use the uh, wooden root to compress the wall, uh, the final stage I usually like to use this metal rib to shape it so that it's easier uh, to get a nicer surface also get a nicer curve because uh, for this uh, metal rib you could bend it um, it forms a very nice uh, curve here so the final shaping I'm using the metal rib instead of the wooden one because the wooden rib is straight edge and this metal rib you could get a nicer better curve and in the meantime when you are shaping it Sometimes I toss a little bit more slip of uh, my finger and toss it inside. I can grab the slip and coat it inside. So I'm shaping also and removing the slip. You can see that when I'm shaping, I just focus on the bottom and make the bottom nice, uh, nice curve. Uh, I will do the rim later on, so uh, my rim is still quite thick, so I have a room to work with. Uh, and usually, I leave my rim a little bit thicker, so uh, in, in, uh, later on, if you want to uh, bring it up higher or you know, a closer narrow. You will have enough clay to do it. So uh, this is uh, I'm just showing you how to lift it up and shape it up a little bit. I'm not going to finish this one. I just want to uh, cut it open to show you uh, what's the look inside and uh, the uh, the rim will be a little bit thicker because I haven't finished yet. stays so this is uh, after uh, I pour it up and shape it um, this is the look for the inside um, you can see that the rim here is still quite thick uh, you will have enough uh, clay to to some kind of a rim or you can close it up you still have room to do it but other than that the wall is quite thin here already okay thanks for watching